Let's take a walkthrough of the components of the Jonas POS screen. The area toolbar features a small number of icons displayed at the top of your POS screen, where you can find function buttons that are commonly used in every chit slash order slash transaction. They can contain the most frequently used functions such as new chit, markdown, etc. The main menu contains sales items that are available for sale, as well as functions, which appear as buttons, and is the main area of your POS screen. If your main menu has buttons for other menus, clicking on one of these menus will display the menu in an additional tab across the top of the screen. The settlement menu, which can be found in the main area of the POS screen as a tab, contains functions to finalize and process a chit. Note that at least one item must be added to the chit before you can navigate to this menu, otherwise it may close out your POS screen. All of these toolbars and menus can be customized and applied to a sales area. The top left hand side of your screen provides the ability to change the table number, number of covers, and the seat number you are applying the item to. At the bottom of the screen, you will see the total, including any applicable tax slash gratuity slash service charge. If you click the total, it will provide a full breakdown of the chit details, including subcharges and all totals. You'll also find the member number and member name and a photo if applicable. Customizable member info fields can also be seen here, which could include member status, birthday, and more. Depending on your setup, the info bar at the bottom of the screen will display the partition and sales area. After a chit has been started, it will list the chit number instead. To add sales items to a chit, simply select that item. You can also adjust what seat number you're applying the item to by clicking on seat number, selecting your seat number, and then selecting your item. So if we go ahead and click total, here's where you can see the breakdown for the chit details. When looking at the items on your chit, you may see the following letters, which mean NS, item has not been sent, S, item has been sent and will indicate the sent time depending on your setup, P, item has been printed, or NP, item has not been printed. So for example, if we send over the order, you'll see the time that the order has been sent. When you design your main menu, you can create a course separator button and apply it to the chip. Then you can use the move up and down arrows to organize the order. As you are adding items, and once all items have been added, you can utilize the function buttons on your main menu. To finalize and process a chit, switch over to your settlement menu. Here is where you can go to make changes to the following items. Note that the ability to make changes is based on your user access, and you may need to speak with your supervisor first. Also note that we do have videos on some of these setups.